Well, hello you wonderful mother truckers you and welcome to another video so as it turns out currently on my channel the most popular short video which is only a short and actually has got the full length video that the clip come from which people because shorts are shorts has become one of the most popular videos on my channel where I was explaining the reason and how Sam Elia got arrested and imprisoned for two years for the instigation of racial hatred and instigation of criminal damage. Now, on that video, I have tagged the link to the judgment. The judgment clearly says at the bottom that, okay, and if we take it, okay, that, that they're going to do this, that those people, anyone doing the same things, which is just incitement, shall receive the same penalty. I mean, no one else has been arrested and no one else has been charged with that and no one else has been put in prison with that because, um, well, Sam was made an example of. It's as simple as that. I mean, some people say, well, he's a Nazi sympathiser because he had a picture of Hitler and a book of Oswald. But the thing is, owning a picture of Hitler isn't illegal. Nor is reading Oswald Maudsley's book. It's a book. And I will admit that apparently some of the stickers were very anti-Semitic, which is not acceptable. The simple truth of the matter is, they've set a precedent saying that even if you incite the, the criminal damage, you'll spend two years in prison. So, how many do you think? How many uh, people do you think got caught or arrested for this, and how many of them got, um, well, two years in prison? Because this isn't incitement; this is actual criminal damage. So, just watch the video. Start funding free Palestine, combat that. Stop funding genocide and let's start robbing banks. <laughs> That's mad. I mean, the fact the guy who refused to back free Palestine, no idea, do you? No idea. But the simple truth of the matter is huh? this is actual criminal damage. So, under the judgment, they should all, when caught, be thrown in prison and sentenced for two years, minimum. How much do you want to stick a bet that that isn't what's going to happen? How much do you want to stick a bet that they probably haven't even arrested anyone for it? And that was the point of the Sam Melia video, was showing the unfair justice system. He was put in prison for two years for the potential of causing criminal damage. He hadn't actually done anything like that. And for the potential of inciting racial hatred. But racial hatred is accepted every weekend in London. Now, a lot of people go, no, no one calls for death of the Jews. As I've said before, if you sing, chant, or hold a sign with the words from the river to the sea, which has now just been recognised by the United States Supreme Court as a genocidal message, you are calling for the death of all Jews. So stop trying to argue the semantics because it's done on a regular basis. Now, <clears throat> you're allowed to protest and ask for free Palestine. <coughs> that's, that's your right. I mean, the police said that if you turn up and counter-protest, uh, you shouldn't be there. It's your fault you're doing it on purpose and you just want to cause a fight. And if that happens, we're just going to abandon you because it's your own stupid fault because the Met Police have spent their entire lives now down there every weekend protecting those people. But the march is allowed. But as long as there are people screaming and shouting and carrying the signs from the river to the sea, when people are walking in that protest flying banned Islamic State flags, intimidating, being racist and assaulting people and threatening people, war with the backing of the police who do nothing then it's a terrorist supporting march and you are all calling for the death of all Jews even if you're holding that sign saying from the river to the sea free Palestine you are as far as I'm concerned and as far as the United States Supreme Court is concerned and most normal sensible people you are calling for the death of all Jews so you don't necessarily have to say the words, do you? I mean, in Sam's case, um, 
you can not say the words you can provide templates for people to print stickers out uh, but even though you haven't actually stuck anything down at all or even said anything you can spend two years in prison that's the two-tier justice system that we have in this country that's the two-tier policing system that we have in this country and that is what the principle of the Sam Melia video, video was and I stand by it the simple truth of the matter is I will retract the statement said on that video when I see other people being sent down for two years for similar crimes but I know I'm never going to have to because of who Sam was and what he stood for. It's as simple as that. I've checked and gone through. I found no record of anyone being arrested for that criminal damage at all. So nothing's going to happen, is it? In any case, if they were part of the free plasticine movement, well, it's probably the bank's fault for being there and being antagonistic to them. Because apparently that's what the Met Police now say, that if you're in the way... So it's Barclays, here yeah, Barclays, this Barclays Bank, yeah, um, it's your fault for being on the route of the march and for antagonising them by potentially having some money dealings with Israel because that, ladies and gentlemen, is the fucked up clown world that we live in. I'm done, so until the next one. I'm out of time.